guys, before the episode begins, why don't you check out the Afro plushie? Because after this episode, you'll be so emotional, you won't know what to do but hug a cute little kitty. Anyway, hope you enjoy the episode. Take care, guys. This place is amazing! Oh, it was such a great idea to come here for our honeymoon, sweetie. Nothing but the best for my girl. Yeah, well, you might want to rethink that. Why is that? I just heard a rumor that someone died here last week. Died? Y you mean from the awesome experience, right? No, I mean literally died. They say he was murdered. Murdered? I think it was an Ultima. An Ultima? That old werewolf story? That's just a myth. No, apparently it's true. There was a Mifo running around town yelling about them. It's attracted a lot of attention to this place. You brought me to a spooky hotel? Hm. Worst husband ever! Ah, uh, baby honey scrunch McGruffin, I, I didn't know, come on! Do, do you think Afro is going to be okay? I... I honestly don't think so. After everything... Zane... It's been hard to talk about it. But... When I think of what she went through... Zane... Talk to me. You could talk to me about anything. I may not understand you completely, but I'm here to talk and try to. I'm here for you, Zane. G garth I haven't been the best brother. I just... You can tell me whenever you're ready. You don't have to tell me now. I just want to let you know that I am here for you. Y you... I... We... You have no idea, Garth, what it felt like to be under someone's control. It was horrible. Not only that, we were completely aware of what we were doing. I saw him hit Athen. <laughs> there was nothing I could do about it. Zane. I just want her to be okay. To everything she went through, she had it the worst. And now, Aaron, she, she just... It will take time. That's all she needs is time. <laughs> yeah, you're right. We have all the time in the world to be brothers. Right now, I want to care about what you care about most. <laughs> Thank you, big brother. <laughs> Aww. Ooh, look at him. He's so perfect, even when he's crying. Hey, you can't just take over like that. But I need to go show him I care for him. Please let me. Oh, no, you don't. Look, I don't know who you are, but Zane and Garth were having a brotherly bonding moment right there, and I'm not going to let you get between them. Ugh, it isn't fair! I should be the one making him happy! Well, I can say that now isn't the time. I suppose. <sighs> 
I actually wanted to speak with you about something, Kim. Huh? It's something rather personal. But, as you can see, the lodge is now full of life. It's packed with so many people, more than I care to haunt. But, it's your home, isn't it? It was, but I don't feel the need to stay here any longer. Which is why, little Kim, I wanted to ask you... W would you mind if I stayed with you? What?! As I said, this place is uncomfortable. It doesn't feel like home. And I've grown rather fond of the excitement, being around you humans. So, if you would continue to host me, I'd love to leave this place. Mm, well, to be honest, without you, we would have never have been able to save Lucinda. Or Zane, for that matter. So, I, I suppose... All right, fine. I'll act as your host, under a few conditions. Name it! First, this is only a temporary thing. I'll host you until we can find a longer-term solution. Second, you can't just go running after Zane suddenly. This is my body, too, and anything you do in it, you do to me. I can make good on one of those promises. Uh, what? <laughs> I said deal. <laughs> awesome! Now, let's get back to the front desk. Those guests aren't going to check themselves in. I am so sorry. There's nothing I can do to turn you back into a wolf. The forever potion on you is... irreversible. I see. I'm so sorry. If anything, you can see about speaking with Aaron's father. He might be able to turn you into a werewolf. No, I prefer not. I am still a wolf at heart. My pack understands the sacrifice I made to protect them. And even though I am human, they still call me their sister. I am still their family, and that's all that matters to me. Besides, in this form, maybe I can protect them better in ways I could not before. Stay strong. I doubt your pack will forget this. Thank you for trying to help me, though. I could have done more. After everything that happened to us, I... I could have prevented this. You cured Zane. Yes, but not Afmal. She had two forever potions on her, which caused the anti-potion I made not to work. If only I had known more about forever potions and potions in general, I could have been of more use. You did your best in a situation you could have never seen coming. I don't want to let that happen again. Now, um, can you please tell me of this man you mentioned before? The one with eyes like a snake? <sighs> Truth be told, I do not know anything about him. To me, he was a terrible human who I wanted to keep my pack away from. I see. Then, what about Ian? What was his relationship with him? Ian. Ian was nothing but a pawn in his plan. Someone he could easily use and dispose of. Once the snake-eyed man thought he had all the emeralds, he left Ian here with us. Ian apparently wasn't useful anymore to him. I see. I know you are looking for more information, but I'm afraid when it comes to both Ian and the snake-eyed man, I don't know much more about them aside from my own experience with them. However, this book belonged to the snake-eyed man. Ian had stolen it from him. You should take it. All it will do is remind us of a horrible time we want to forget. A potion book? Trust me, this... this is more than enough. I... I wanted to thank you for everything you've done for us. We might not have been here if it weren't for you. I'm glad I could help. Thank you for everything. Farewell.
she? Where is my Miha? I got a chocolate and I'm not afraid to use it! Trust me, she will! Oh, uh, hello? You! Where is my daughter? Y your daughter? Afmau! Where is Afmau? Take me to her! Oh, um, Afmau, she she's upstairs in the lichen suite. She she's extremely stressed and, uh, she's just, uh, she... Lichen suite! Got it! Wait! Do you even know where it is? I was so worried about you. I brought strawberry puffs just in case. Not now, Eric! Shutting up! Miha, please. I heard something terrible happened, but I wasn't told what. Just tell me what happened. Please. It's hard to explain. It... It's just... Miha, please... I can't help if I don't know what's going on. Mia, you're crying. Please, let me help. I would have been gone forever but Aaron he was there I was forced to hate him stab him kill him but he was still there he came for me I killed him and he still saved me Aaron he's he saw that Ian hit me and, and went berserk. I don't know what happened, but I... Shh. Shh. It's going to be all right. You're safe now. Wait. Ian? Your ex from high school? Mom, we weren't ever dating. You just thought we were. Where is he? I'm going to destroy him! I don't know. Did Aaron? No. Wolves. At least from what I heard. Aaron! Where is he? I... I haven't seen him. I've been waiting here. Until his parents say that I can see him. What? He's in there. He's in intensive care right now. His parents came a week ago with doctors. I'm not allowed to see him. Because of his... You're not allowed to... He's... That's not right. Come on, Eric. Mom? 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 Word is beginning to spread. A few news outlets have picked up on the story. <laughs> we can't risk losing him. His eyes, Derek. If he looks at a human... We can't ask him to calm his eyes. I don't even know if he can hear us. Mrs. Lycan, we'll need to draw more blood for your son. Of course. Anything. Aaron! Hey, what are you doing here? I want to see Aaron! He's my daughter's boyfriend, and she's outside worried sick about him! You aren't telling her anything about him! Let us through, or we'll force our way in! We need answers! Come on, let us in! This isn't right! 
to keep us waiting. Abmal has been waiting out there every day for a whole week now, and you aren't going to tell her anything? We need to know how Aaron is doing! Please, sir, ma'am, you don't understand. You can't be in here. It's far too dangerous for you. Please, you are in serious danger if you continue to stay here. Don't make us use our strength to remove you from the room. He needs rest and medicine. He can't I see anyone. I got a chocolate anyone. and I'm not please. afraid to use it! Trust me, she will! His condition is. Mom! Eric! Please, leave the room! Eric needs his rest. You don't understand why you can't be here right now. Please, I can wait. Just let him rest. <gasps> Derek, look! But it's just texting! No, Aaron! You need to stop talking to her! Don't you understand? She's going to rip your heart out! She's the reason I have a heart in the first place! I've never been able to talk or socialize with anyone this close! She means the world to me, and I just want to talk to her! Aaron, she doesn't love you. It doesn't matter. I love her, and I always will. Everyone! Please, I'm asking everyone here to leave the room. Even you, sweetheart. Why? We need to see Aaron! Please, I will allow everyone to see Aaron, but only after I can speak to Afmao alone. Huh? What? I understand, sweetheart. Everyone, please come with me. You stay here, sweetie. Y you have wolf ears and a tail? It's a long story. We can talk about it another time. Aaron, what have I done? <laughs> Since he was born, I've tried to protect him. Tried to keep him from facing the things that I did. I didn't want him to hurt anyone. Aaron! All those years, I never realized. You. You were the one I kept him away from. You were the one he was always trying to see. I always thought I was helping him find ways to suppress his eyes. That I was doing the right thing for him. But I wasn't helping him at all. I was only making it worse. You. You were the reason why. He didn't want to hurt you. You soothed him. I kept him away from you all those years. I thought that it was best for both of you. But despite everything I did, he kept trying to just be close to you. He waited for you. I never allowed him to be himself. My son almost died, and I didn't even know him. What have I done? I'm surprised Aaron agreed to help. I didn't expect him to be so willing. Mm, maybe he remembers when we used to go there. That or he needs the money. 
though I'm surprised. He's never been one to take payment from us for anything. Maybe he's fallen on hard times. Far from it. I know that tone, Missy. What do you know? <laughs> oh, you know me so well, Mama. If I tell you guys, you both gotta keep it under wraps, okay? Fine. Tell us. I've heard that Aaron is planning on proposing to Afmao. What? What? Mm-hmm. He's been taking on odd jobs to try and get the cash for it, to make it incredibly special for her. He didn't even tell us! Does Afmao know about... He can't. She will... Ugh! Dad, you can't treat Aaron like this forever. Melissa is right. If he's planning this, then maybe Afmao knows. Aaron has been living on his own until this point. We need to trust him. Afmao, do you know why Aaron came here? He had said he wanted extra cash for the summer. I don't understand why, but he... He wanted to take you somewhere special. Huh? Somewhere? The New Year's party? Starlight Wonderland? Oh, all this for me? After what I did to him? Aaron, his wounds are deep. Broken bones. Spleen is ruptured. He shouldn't be alive. But he is because of you. All of this. Everything that's happened to him. All of this was because of me. Stop talking nonsense. It's my fault. He's in this condition. I'm the one who caused him all of this pain. No. You saved him long before this. Ever since he was a child, he's had the most difficult time controlling his eyes. As his father, I wanted to protect him from everything I could. And in doing so, I isolated him from everyone. But you, you saw past the person I made him into. You made him feel cared for, wanted, and loved. How much do you love him? <gasps> what? You love him, don't you? Of course I love him! Aaron means the world to me. I would do anything for him. He's done so much for me. And in return, I... <laughs> I just... Would you give Aaron up? What? No! Never! I can't lose him now! I need to be here for him. I need to tell him I'm sorry. It won't be safe for him here much longer. With all the rumors flying around about an Ultima werewolf sighting, it's just a matter of time until the lodge is flooded with reporters and fanatics trying to find us. Can't you just hide here? It's too risky. Do you know what will happen if they find Eren? Do you know how terrified humans are of him? There's a reason he's just a myth. If they find out he's real, they'll chase him down, and they won't stop till they find him and kill him. You don't know that. Afmao, it isn't easy, but you have to trust me. This is the safest option. After everything that's happened, Eren is going to have a lot of questions. He needs to find himself. What will you do? Where will you take him? Our family has a safe house in Falcon Claw. Exactly for this type of situation. We'll be taking him there. I can come with him, right? Right now, Eren's Ultima State has regressed. All the trauma he experienced has left him very sensitive. His instincts are stuck on high alert. The slightest motion could set off his Ultima form. And how do you think Eren would feel if he lost control and turned you into a werewolf? Turning isn't exactly painless. An Ultima turning a human into a werewolf with their eyes. There's a chance a human turning into a werewolf at the sight of Ultima eyes 
could die in the process. A bite is a different story. Even still, if Aaron let you see his eyes, and he hurt you, how do you think that would make him feel? <laughs> He'd never forgive himself. Yeah, <sighs> I'm sorry. I know I'm asking for a lot, but for your sake and his, he needs time to heal. How much time? The doctors say that with these injuries, and all the stress and trauma he experienced, he'll need about a year to fully recover. A year? No, please! Eren, he came to this lodge to take you to Starlight Wonderland. It's what he was working so hard for. It's what he wanted to do for you. I promise you, Afmao. After one year, that is where you'll be reunited. All I ask is that you wait. But one year... Please, it's the only way. For him, I can do it. He's not fully conscious, but you should talk to him. Can I? It's safe. As long as his eyes are normal, he can't turn anyone. Also, this belongs to you. He would want you to have this. Go on. Everything we've been through, no matter what form you take, it's always you, Aaron. It's always been you. I'll be here waiting for you. I'll always be your stupid potato. I love you, Aaron. I'll wait for you. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to find out more about that snake-eyed man. And, from what I know, Ian's gone. Good riddance. I don't even want to hear his name ever again. What are we going to do? What do you mean? Everyone back home. They'll probably ask us about what happened. Honestly, we should keep this to ourselves. At least until we've had some time to recover from this. Especially about Aaron. We cannot let anyone else know he's an Ultima. Rumors are starting to spread, and it's in our best interest not to give fuel to the fire. I agree. It will also keep Aphmau's mind calm. Have we heard anything about Aaron? Last I heard, he was unconscious. Aphmau's been waiting outside his room for an entire week, so... Aph? We're going home. What? what? What about Aaron? Aaron... Aaron is fine. B but he's not safe right now. S so he has to go away. Because if they find out he's an Ultima, they'll... They'll... 
Size. <clears throat> I, I understand. Huh? Aaron's a walking time bomb. If people found out Ultimas existed, he'd never see him again. <laughs> Afbow! I just want to be close to him. Sweetie, I completely understand. Especially after all of this, but... But this is right call, okay? For both your safety and his. He needs this. And so do you. Athmau, we'll be here with you to get through this. We'll all be here for you. That's right. Guys, <laughs> thank you. You must be tired, Af. Gareth, let's get the car started. You can rest on the way home, Af. Lucinda? Yes? Do you think... I mean, I never asked about this, but... How do you cast magic? Huh? You, you want to learn? Y yeah. <laughs> um, how about this? I'll teach you a few things I know when we get home. For now, you just need to rest. <laughs> All right. What kind of magic were you interested in? The... healing kind. I see. <laughs> well, we'll talk about it more at home. Come on, everyone's waiting. Be there is a place 
Are you sure you want to go in on this place? It will take all four of us to afford it. Nonsense! This place was great to vacation in! My family really enjoyed it. I just hope Derek's family feels the same way. Well, I'm sure he will. I know Travis enjoys it. Right, son? Yay! When Zack gets here, we'll sign the papers then. Where is Derek, anyway? Derek is inside with his son. I offered to let his boy play with mine, but he was pretty fast about getting him inside. It's probably for the best. Huh? Ah, there's Zack now. Hey! Sorry I'm late. It's not a problem. As long as you sign the papers, it's fine. Then I'm glad I made it in time. Oh! Is this your son? Yes. Cute. My little girl is around his age. Hey there! Hey! What took you so long? My daughter is having a hard time with the divorce, so I wanted to spend as much time with her as I could before I had to move. Understandable. Sorry about that. My son was playing with rocks and ended up bringing a ton inside. I wanted to make sure he cleaned up the new place. I appreciate it. Now. Let's get to signing these papers, shall we? Hee <laughs> hee Dad took away a walk, he did take this one. What time in here? Shh. This is our secret. <laughs> 